new fears for Haz and Meg. Sussexes are finding it quite hard on their own to tackle fake news issue. Prince Harry released a statement on the Archul website on Monday, which says he is working to tackle fake news. The statement said, Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, co-founder of Archul, joined a group of his colleagues who have been working together for more than half a year to release an ambitious report on tackling the growing mis- and disinformation problem in technology, media, and social media. The report gives a list of 15 recommendations for leaders to consider adopting across the public, private and non-profit sectors. Among the recommendations are the need for social media transparency and disclosure, as well as a new proposal regarding social media immunity. The statement comes as Associated Newspapers, ANL seek to overturn the decision that the publication of Meghan Markle's private letter to her father Thomas Markle, sent in August 2018, was unlawful. The Duchess apologized to the Court of Appeal last week for allegedly forgetting email exchanges with her communications secretary, Jason Knauf, ahead of his meeting with the authors of Finding Freedom, an unofficial biography of the Sussexes. Mr. Knauf, in a witness statement, told the court Meghan's letter to her father was written in anticipation that it could be leaked. Should the Court of Appeal side with ANL, a full trial would require Meghan and other senior royals to face cross-examination. Meghan and Harry are approaching two years since they upped sticks and crossed the Atlantic, initially moving to Canada before heading to California. Pod Save the Queen is hosted by Zoe Forsey and features Daily Mirror royal editor Russell Myers. Mr Myers said in last week's episode, I still don't think they've found their feet. They're so far from doing that at the moment. They just seem to be fighting so many battles on so many levels. They're still trying to work out where they are. It's a tricky business. They're finding it quite hard on their own, I think. He added the ongoing court case has been a pretty bruising experience for the Sussexes. Meghan and Harry's Archul website leads with the tagline, Each of us can change our communities. All of us can change the world. They both have big plans to make a real difference in numerous projects, ranging from the Invictus Games to working with mental health charities. Mr Myers said, Meghan and Harry kind of want to kick on with helping out the servicemen and women, talking about their big projects, talking about Archul. And they're being hampered from the court case which, one could argue, they are the masters of their own demise in that sense. He added, it'll be very interesting to see whether the real good work that they do is massively watered down because people will just go you know what, I've had enough of them and they'll switch off. Royal expert Roya Nikhar said on ITV's Lorraine on Monday that there is frustration within the royal family at how this, the court case, is playing out. She claimed advisers, including the Queen's top lawyer, warned the Sussexes to think this through. Ms Nikhar added, if this goes all the way, think what could come out. Text messages, disclosure of all of that. Senior Judge Jeffrey Vo said on Thursday, the final day of the three-day hearing, that judges would take time to consider our judgments in the usual way. Both sides of the argument would be examined, he said, with great care. Meanwhile, Prince Harry believes online misinformation is a global humanitarian issue. The Duke of Sussex was involved in a six-month study on the state of the U.S. media conducted by the Aspen Institute's new Commission on Information Disorder and after the organization published their report and 15 recommendations, the 37-year-old royal said he hoped the guidance would be adopted. On the prince's and his wife Meghan's website Archul, he said, for the better part of a year, we at the Aspen Commission have met regularly to debate, discuss and draft solutions to the mis- and disinformation crisis, which is a global humanitarian issue. I hope to see the substantive and practical recommendations of our commission taken up by the tech industry, the media industry, by policymakers and leaders. This affects not some of us, but all of us. The report called for accountability for superspreaders of online lies, as well as substantial investment in local journalism, more diverse workforces at social media companies and creating a U.S. government national response strategy for tackling misinformation.